Yes, I got a call that yeah. and the, from the government, from yeah. the Ministry of Communications, yeah. and they said, would I be interested in, in, in such a yeah. position or yeah. such a title? And I didn't know it's what it meant. It's more than a title. Right. It is quite a function. But, it, yeah. but we didn't know. I, at the time, I was, I was yeah. away from Bucharest, and I received mm -hmm. the phone call, so I, I didn't know what it entailed. Mm -hmm. it, it, was, it wasn't very clear to me at the time, but I said, yes, of course, you know, anything I can do to, to participate. What we were trying to do is to figure out how can we work with a large number of librarians in many communities. We're right now in over 1,500 communities in Romania to really begin showing what the, the absolute benefit of computers are once they've met a group of people who have never seen them before. For instance, with agriculture, we, what we did is we piloted with um, the Agency for Payments in, in Agriculture, which is a government agency and 400 libraries joined a pilot program where farmers in those communities were able to apply online for their farm subsidies in their public library. It, 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 that's not such a big deal um, when, you, when we first mention it, but it becomes a big deal when we look at what happened. And what had happened is that these farmers no longer had to leave from their small communities, go to the county capital, find out what they needed to do, come back, get everything they needed and apply. 17,000 farmers last year in this pilot went to their local public library, applied. What that did is it saved them over 50,000 man days in travel. So they saved 50,000 days that they didn't have to go to the county, counts, uh, county capital, find out what they needed, come back, collect everything, go back, apply, and then come back. And in some cases, go back again to make sure that they could receive the funding. So there was around roughly 50,000 mandates in this pilot. They saved 300,000 euros in gasoline. It is win-win. It's win for the government. It's win for the farmers. Yeah. It's win for the libraries. Absolutely. Where they do have stuff. Now put instead of farmers, women. Women. Two million people have migrated to mostly um, Italy and Spain. Last year, we were received contact from an NGO in, uh, outside of Milan. And the big problem with the Romanians that are leaving is that it's normally mothers, fathers without their children. So many of the children are being left back in Romania with their grandparents, with no consistent means of communicating with their parents. What we have seen is a rise in Romania in suicide. We've seen a rise in school dropout. We have a group of mothers here that would be interested. We'll help them get on Skype if you could find their kids. If you can go to those communities and bring them. We said, okay, three days a week, four hours in those periods, mothers will be able to meet their children. And that has expanded now to a national program where all around the country, we have libraries coupled with people now, not only in Italy, but also in Spain, where they can meet and talk to their kids three times a week. Um, and they're doing it for free. And it's, you know, recreating those bonds and it's helping kids. They actually do homework online. Um, they, you know, so it's, it's, it's impressive. During the pilot, we found out that, one, the maj vast majority of communal libraries, so the communes themselves, which is the vast majority of the country, um, are, are women. Or roughly 99% are women. But what had happened after that over time is that person, the librarian, the woman in yep. our case, became a gatekeeper. Yep. And we noticed that the entire community started to change the way they looked and perceived not only the librarian but the woman because the gatekeeper was also kind in Romania very often information also historically is kept its power but because they were also women they also gave people I would say they facilitated greater access quickly and so we're starting to see a change in the perception of how women are looked at because of the fact that women are the gatekeepers to farm subsidies to education to health to all kinds of other factors, you know? So it's, it's actually, we're, this is one of the things we'd like to see in the longer sort of medium to long term. What are the general effects that it's having and how is that helping women in general because of, of these, these, these types of steps that have happened? They, as a, as a goalkeeper, it is indeed a quite, uh, uh, quite effective way of well, connecting. It's absolutely unique. Yeah, no. And no one thought yeah. about that, that yeah. all of a sudden, wait, in order for yeah. me to get to the next step, I have to go through this yeah. person because I don't know how. Yeah. They're connecting children with yeah. mothers. They're, you know, they're I met um, the new ministers, and uh, we are aware, and it's not only, by the way, Spain, the unemployment mm -hmm. figures for youth, it is absolutely um, tremendous. And talking about, 
talking about Spain, for example, in that case, the minister was explaining to me that there is a black hole. We basically threw 2,000 euros into one county. And what we said is, we want you, to, well, they actually came to us and said, we, we'd like to do is, we, we have unemployment issues. We'd like to just teach people to get online, find the major sites that offer employment opportunities, teach those people who are looking for employment yep. opportunities how to write a CV, have them upload those CVs, and then we give them a half a day of basic interview, one-to-one yep. -one training. training. Yep. So we said, how much would it cost? They said roughly 2,000 euros. We gave them 2,000 euros. What they did with that is they created the course and they trained all the librarians in the county. So they brought all the librarians there and then they all left. What was amazing is what happened. So in basically three months, because the calculation I did was, was in three months, but it, most of it took place in two. But we'll, we'll, we'll talk in terms of three months. In three months, 400 people were trained throughout the county. They came in, they looked for a job, they got some help. 32 people in that three months period got jobs. They actually got a job. But what's really amazing about this is when you, what we did is because we didn't have a means of interviewing the 32 people, we calculated that each of those people, persons received minimum wage, which is impossible. They must have gave, you know, some more, some less, <clears throat> but we calculated minimum wage. And in that period, three month period, those 32 people not only now are back in work, but they contributed over 11,000 euros back into the economy, yep. right? Saving also another 5,000 euros on top of that in the amount of yep. unemployment costs that it cost the government. So we're talking in three months, something that cost 2,000 euros to put together actually brought back and saved the government over 16,000 euros. And this is a micro. Yeah. experiment. It's yeah. not filling the job yeah. that's always the most yeah. important thing. But you're also going to get quality, you're going yeah. to get better choices, yeah. you're going to motivation. have more cir circulation, yeah. motivation. Yeah. yeah. So we're, we're starting to see these things yeah. come together. So what, it's amazing. What is your um, dream four years from now? I mean, my dream is very simple, is that more Romanians have access to better services online. I mean, that it's, it's a simple yeah. idea. From Romania, where 50% of the population is in online, we can come up to, you know, we can cut that number in half in four years. There's no reason we shouldn't be able to. My concern though is is making sure that as I take on this role, this responsibility, that I don't forget about all the other people in Romania helping towards reaching the same goal. If you don't mind, we will use you as an extremely important example in showing that it is on the floor that it really happens. You can easily, quote unquote, implement your philosophy to Bulgaria, to other countries where this type of issues, I, uh, and I would say nearby all the 27 member states. It's the same concept, whether you're in Poland, whether you're in Spain or you're in Romania, it's the same process. We go online, we look at specific sites, we see what we like, what we might be able to apply for, and then there's a whole series of things that have to follow that. I mean, it's not, it doesn't change, you know, so I think it'd be interesting to do things like that. For taking the line that every European should be digital right. and no one should be excluded in principle, there's quite a bit to do. Thank you. We keep in touch yeah. and uh, delighted to uh, have more of your uh, colleagues.